Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge. Trump just unveiled a new program that will turn millions of Democrats into Republicans. When President Trump was campaigning to the American people on why he would be the greatest jobs president of all time, he meant what he said. Millions of Americans are on food stamps thanks to the previously failed administrations. Barack Obama will go down in history as the biggest welfare president of all time. During Obama's reign of terror, food stamp claims rose 70 percent. This means 47.6 million Americans were on food stamps after either long miserable years of the Obama presidency putting Barack Obama as the food stamp president. It's not racist when it's true. Facts seem to slip the minds of liberals. The farm bill known as Resolution 2 would actually make able-bodied adults ranging from 18 to 59 to work a minimum of 20 hours a week in order to keep receiving food stamps. SNAP, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, provides food to people who can't afford it, or are unable to work. These new requirements would put Americans back to work, and get them off welfare for good. This would be another promise the president will keep. 1.2 million Americans would discontinue using SNAP claims the CBO because they would be able to work, and provide for their families. This is a concept that Barack Obama and the rest of the liberal communists couldn't seem to get in line with. The constant push of welfare is what we call redistribution of wealth where we take from the rich and give to the those who really don't need the money. I'm not saying there aren't people out there that actually need the help, but many are just lazy, and could actually get off their butts and go to work. You will see millions of Democrats change their voter registration to vote Republican after this happens. The political shift will take place because people will finally start realizing that Republicans are the only ones who offer real solutions to America's problems while Democrats inflate ideas that only hurt America in the long run, and fits the bill to our next few generations. An additional 400,000 could drop off the food stamp rolls over 10 years because of a provision in the bill that would close a loophole allowing individuals to qualify for food stamps without meeting an asset test, according to the CBO estimate. But the number of people getting off food stamps could be more than what the CBO or the House bill is projecting, according to House Agriculture Committee spokeswoman Rachel Millard. They don't distinguish in their analysis who will come off due to the fact they have found employment providing them enough money to no longer need SNAP, or those who have chosen to remove themselves from the program due to the fact they haven't fulfilled the work requirement, which can also be fulfilled through training. Millard told Breitbart News Wednesday evening, Millard added that the provision in the House bill causing 400,000 of the 1.6 million Americans estimated to drop their SNAP benefits would close a loophole used under the Obama administration called Broad-Based Categorical Eligibility BBCE. Under BBCE, American households were eligible to receive SNAP benefits if they were authorized to receive a TAN-funded brochure or hotline number without qualifying for SNAP's income and asset thresholds. However, the farm bill would still allow those who meet the asset test to receive benefits. The idea of reforming the food stamp program has remained popular with the American public. A Foundation for Government Accountability FGA, survey published in April revealed that more than 82 percent of Americans support the idea of food stamp recipients having to meet work requirements. The survey stated that 94 percent of Republicans and 71 percent of Democrats are in favor of work requirements. Some House Democrats, however, Say the farm bill's cuts to SNAP are unjust, Breitbart. We should strengthen and hashtag protect SNAP screams socialism. To strengthen SNAP would actually mean raising taxes or taking away tax dollars from one program to fund it. That's unjust if you ask me. This is the solution Democrats offer their voter base. They promise them all these free programs in order to get their votes. I've said in many articles before that Democrats known the only way they will be able to stay in power is to pander to the people that want free stuff and keep promising more free stuff. What they can't seem to understand is nothing is free. Someone somewhere is paying for it. That's not freedom, that's tyranny. Update The farm bill has been defeated. A sweeping farm bill failed in the House on Friday in a blow to GOP leaders who were unable to placate conservative lawmakers demanding commitments on immigration. The House leadership put the bill on the floor gambling it would pass despite unanimous Democratic opposition. They negotiated with members of the conservative House Freedom Caucus up to the last minutes. But their gamble failed. The vote was 213 to 198, with 30 Republicans joined 183 Democrats in defeating the bill. The outcome exposed what is becoming an all-out war within the House GOP over immigration. The bill will come up again, though. The current bill expires in September and the Senate is working on a new one.
Trump will eventually get his way and a new day will dawn in America. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.